Hey, this is Chris. In this lecture, I'm gonna break down what's the deal with all the Photoshop versions out there. The short answer that you're looking for is this. The best Photoshop version is the latest one, and that's CC 2022. This requires a paid subscription from adobe.com. The best choice is the photography plan, which starts at $10 per month. Please don't buy the individual plan, it's not worth it. The only thing that you're getting is this extra cloud storage, and trust me, you're not missing out on anything. The first seven days are completely free, but you do have to put in your credit card. Go to adobe.com, create a free account, and then download the trial. And that's it for the basics. That's absolutely everything that you need to know at this point. Now, just in case you're curious, let's get into a few more details. For example, is Photoshop Elements okay for this course? No, it's not. That's a completely different program and it's not useful for this course. How about using an iPad instead of a computer? Again, no, that's a completely different experience. How about Photoshop CS3, CS4, or CS5? Well, while they can work, I would not recommend it. It's like working on Windows 98 while having a ton of better options out there. For example, CS4 was launched way, way back in 2008. So using extremely outdated software is never a good idea. Now you could work along, but it wouldn't be a great experience. It's like parking a big car in a tight space without any sensors or cameras. Now sure, you could manage, but it's not gonna be a good experience, right? CS6 is the oldest version you should be using for this course. Now, Photoshop CS6 was launched way back in 2012, so even that's very outdated. And if you're gonna use it, you're gonna miss out on some nice improvements and features. But having said that, if you're patient, you could potentially use CS6. I just really don't recommend it. So in conclusion, you should expect various design changes if you're on an older version. Things are gonna look different. But let me stress this point. These changes, these differences are mostly visual. They don't stop you from actually working. And for those two, three different behaviors, I'm gonna create separate lectures so you'll have no trouble with them. Overall, you shouldn't worry about your Photoshop version as long as you have the photography plan. And if you have CS6, it's not ideal, but it's decent. Now, let me talk about the Creative Cloud, which again, you should have a subscription, $10 per month. Let me explain how things worked back in the day. So a lot of years ago, Adobe launched programs like Photoshop CS4, CS5, CS6, and these programs had a fixed price. For example, Adobe Photoshop CS6, that was $6.99, so $700 for one single program. That was a huge amount and not a lot of people could afford it. But in 2013, Adobe completely changed their pricing by launching the Creative Cloud, or in short, CC. This meant that the user would pay a monthly subscription, like for your cell phone plan and the user would receive all the updates and bug fixes for the free. And that's fantastic. This is where we are currently at. Photoshop CC 2022 is the newest one at the time of this recording. And when any update comes along, I get a message from my Adobe Creative Cloud program. I click on one single button and the new version gets installed just like that. And this applies to everybody that has a legal version of Photoshop. So if you have a subscription, you probably have the latest version. Nobody is stuck on CC 2014 or CC 2017 because the upgrade is always free and it's easy to do. But let's just say you forgot to upgrade and you're using an older CC version, right? What then? Maybe you're stuck on CC 2018. What are you supposed to do? Don't worry about it. The course is version independent. Over 90% of what I teach you applies to all Photoshop versions. So please, don't use this as an excuse to not watch and learn from this course. Plus, the differences between all the CC editions are minimal. The interface is slightly different, Control z and Shift may work a bit differently, but honestly, not a lot has changed over the years. 
a few bells and whistles, a few advanced features, but again, overall, nothing fundamentally different. So to sum it up, if your screen doesn't match mine, please just don't worry about it. Continue watching, don't stress over it. If there's any confusion, just ask for help. And like I said in the beginning, if you don't wanna invest any money, you can create a free account on adobe.com and you're gonna get a free seven day trial. And in a week, you can actually finish the entire course. Okay, let's sum this up. In conclusion, you can use Photoshop CS6, but you may miss out on some nice features and improvements. I don't recommend it. What I do recommend is that you get CC 2022 by paying $10 per month. And that's it. Let's get started.